I really am a fan of this cool, but the one thing about it that really bugs me is the fact that it has a gold converter with silver trim. Now, sometimes I come, I'm kind of into the two-tone look, but this one is just so obviously contrasting that it really kind of bugs me. But I did find a way to work around it, so I'm gonna show you how I took care of that. Now, all the Platinum's converters are gold with the exception of a couple of the pens, the limited edition 3776s they've done in the past have come with silver converters. So, you know, I kind of wish they would offer more, uh, but I understand why they don't because, you know, that, that, that's kind of, a, you know, an economies of scale thing trying to keep the company lean. They only want to offer one converter, and I get that. But here's a little trick that I found. You can actually take your Platinum Gold converter and you can make it silver if you want to. Now, of course, you know, you're altering your converter and uh, that's something you have to be okay with in your own mind. But because you can actually disassemble this converter, I found that if you sand away the brass coating or whatever it is on top, it reveals silver underneath. So if you have, you know, a sheet of micro mesh or very fine sandpaper, you can probably even use, you know, a fine steel wool, triple out or quadruple out steel wool, and just kind of take and burnish away the gold that's on this converter in, you know, a minute or two. It really doesn't take very long. You can wear away that brass plating and you end up with a silver cap here on your converter. And you can choose to do it on the bottom if you want. It's really not necessary because it's completely hidden inside the pen. But as long as you get this top portion here, you can have a silver converter to match the silver trim on your Platinum Cool. And I just think that looks that looks a lot better.